Guys, welcome to the video. It's me, Chris, aka Ozodi, and I'm gonna do a quick breakdown in under five minutes. Do 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 by Blackpink. Even though we're producing K pop and we're breaking down K pop music, a lot of the skills that I'm gonna be talking about you can implement into any genre of music and take all the best bits that suit you and then put it into your own songs. For those of you who don't know me or are new to the channel, hi, my name is Azodi and I have been a producer and songwriter for the best part of, well, uh, 14 years. Check out this video and it should provide a bit more context of where I've been. The main riff that you're going to hear quite a lot throughout the entire song and you're going to hear a few variations of it. Serum, patch here, slow attack so to speak, the porter, uh, mono so it kind of gives that glidey sort of sound. I wanted quite a big sounding kick as the song has been composed to leave a lot of space. Also I went in and tuned the kick uh, to the right key of the song. Blippy sound that fills out the space in the beats, verse 1. The riff develops as well. Because the song's well written, there's so much space to add all these quirky little elements. There shouldn't really be too much going on in this part. You do not want to give everything away straight away. The most important thing at the end of the day is to keep the person interested. Behind the hi-hats is this discordant sort of bang. <laughs> Metal Shop from Spitfire album. I've used that like in quite a lot of my productions. Funnily enough, I heard it in a metal record, uh, one of the Bring Me The Horizon albums. So if you ever have the option to do that, always try and layer stuff up. I do like using the irons as it adds more, more grit to a sound. And who thought listening to metal music would actually play a role in writing pop music? did do a little bit of EQ on the 808 here. I haven't done too much on the mixing side as I'm just showing you how to do the production. He doesn't know what he wants. Just a white noise effect to smooth over the transition between sections. Pre-chorus chords, G major, A minor 7, E minor 7 and B minor. Cool tip that I learned actually arranging film score. Imagine that each of these notes are played by a violin player and your job as the composer is to make the movement between each chord as seamless and smooth as possible. You don't want chord progressions that are going to be able to jump up and down. The least amount of effort for each movement of the chord, the better, and this translates to any genre. Cool, uh, just a basic sword chord, saw chord synth, repeated it, layered it with another saw synth. Second half and we are now adding more elements to increase the hype. Found this really hard to recreate. Vocal cuts are not my forte but the melody is still the same. There's one rolling behind it and then there's a snare accenting each of the uh, I think it's the two and the four. Now this kick is slightly different from the main kick as it's a little bit more tighter, it's a little bit more cutting. Automated a sweeping filter. So what it does is it's going to cut out all the low end. Cool, a nice little arp, a plucky arp sitting behind the chords to give it a bit more movement. Then as we get halfway through it actually goes an octave higher. What they've done is they've built it up, built it up and then they have completely cut apart from the vocal. It just gives the impact so much more power. You can only fill the sonic spectrum with so many frequencies so the only other way to get around that is to actually just extract all of it at the last minute and then your ear will get accustomed to it and then before you know it bang it comes straight back in. Verse 2, the 808 changes for Jenny's rap here. I've added a China symbol, great for adding a lot of aggression. I used a lot in breakdowns in big metal songs, normally in a halftime bit. Cheeky little reverse symbol there. The second build is practically the same apart from the ending. Second chorus, pretty much exactly the same. Flute melody, but an octave lower. It's keeping the interest. You're not giving away everything off the bat. Cool little techniques and tricks to keep the listener interested. Breakdown bit, bounce between two chords, like a nylon string guitar. Backed it up with a dreamy piano. Enhanced the ambience and uh, the kind of dream. Breakdown toms. Yeah, they just bring back the flute melody again. Crescendo of a kind of choir. Palm muted guitars here. 
shreddage my go-to guitar tool i am a guitarist i know how to play and all that sort of stuff i've never really had the best top end equipment taught myself over the years how to use it and it's absolutely phenomenal consider double tracking palm muting vicious nasty sounding trap horn lead from serum kind of like a araba the next version is actually an octave lower Just after that, they have a call and response sort of flavor to the uh, writing here. And that's it. If you really want to create power in your music, it's not about having speed or throwing as many ideas and elements into the mix as possible, but actually control creates power in the music. And this is a prime example. It's a really solid beat with massive impact, but actually there's so much space for your brain to kind of like absorb what's going on straight away. And that's what gives it the power. That's what makes you want to start like nodding your head like this. And that's literally like, if you could take any lesson away from this video, that is practically the crux of songwriting and production is to get an emotional response from your listener. And I've heard this song, like making this video for you now, I must have listened to it over 500, 600 times. Yet every time I hear the original, I'm still getting this kind of nod going and still getting this response from it. And that is like really powerful stuff. So when you're creating your own songs and your own music, you know, just sit back. And if you think that there's an element that's not like sitting right or it makes you kind of stops you from nodding or stops you giving an emotional response, just like figure it out remove it and replace it with something that you think is absolutely killer because if you're feeling it you're going to convince hundreds of thousands of other people that they're going to feel it if you could subscribe or share it that would be absolutely amazing uh, i'd really appreciate it let me know what you think in the comment box below if there's anything you want me to cover or any sort of uh, stuff about k or j pop production you weren't sure about yeah i hope this video was helpful and you learned a thing or two and uh, yeah catch you same time next week